everyone. Welcome back to another week of STEM Power. This week, we are learning about math. The fun fact of the week is that the word hundred comes from the word hundraf, which actually means 120, not 100. This week, we'll be doing two activities, the Fibonacci art activity, as well as a money survival game. The first activity is the Fibonacci art activity. Before we start, let's learn about Leonardo Pisano Bigolo, better known as Fibonacci and his mathematical sequence. His sequence is extremely fascinating because it depicts a pattern often found in nature, not just in math. So let's start by introducing you to Fibonacci as an academic. Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician who lived in the early 13th century and developed the Fibonacci sequence from a word problem in a book he wrote called Liber Abaci, or Book of the Abacus in English. In the following activity, you will try to figure out his famous pattern and make some art with it. For this activity, you will need pencils, white paper, construction paper, 10 different colors, rulers, scissors, and glue. This activity will have two parts. First, let's introduce you to the Fibonacci sequence. Gather into groups of two. Each group should begin by drawing 15 boxes on a sheet of blank white paper. Leave the first box empty. Draw one circle in the second box and one circle in the third box. Each box represents a number in the Fibonacci sequence. Challenge yourself now. Try using only the number of circles you already have to find the next number in the sequence. Pause here, but play if you'd like more hints. If you are stuck, write two, three, and five in the next boxes. Can you figure out the pattern now? Pause here and play for the answer key. Here are the first 15 terms. Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, fifty-five, eighty-nine, one hundred fourteen. 233, 377, and 610. The pattern you just calculated is called the Fibonacci sequence. The pattern is like this. You add up the first two numbers to get the next number. For example, my third number is one because the two terms before it were zero and one. I add zero plus one to get one. This can also be done with two. I add one plus one to get two and can also be done with five. I add two plus three to get five. Now that you have familiarized yourself with the Fibonacci sequence, it's time to make some Fibonacci art. You will gather into groups of two. Each pair should select six different colors of a construction paper. Also, you should get a pencil and a ruler each. You should choose to use one sheet of construction paper to begin with. Use the ruler to draw a circle with a radius of one centimeter. Do this by drawing three two centimeter long lines intersecting each other at one centimeter. Cut out a circle. Repeat these steps one more time with a different color. Here I am showing a different technique where I take a piece of paper, fold it into quarters, and measure out one centimeter along each side and draw a quarter of a circle. Now we are going to make more circles but these ones will be in different sizes. You will have one with a radius of two centimeters, one with a radius of three centimeters, one with a radius of five centimeters, one with a radius of eight centimeters, and all of these should be different colors. In the end, you should have six circles of different colors. Feel free to share the construction paper with other students and try seeing how many of you can get circles out of one piece of paper. You should also get one piece of blank paper. Glue your circles down from largest to smallest on this paper. First, glue the largest circle anywhere on the page. Make sure you glue them down so that the side with no pencil marks is showing. Continue to glue the rest of the circles wherever you would like, but make sure that each successive circle is touching the previous one. Here is an example of what yours could look like. Discuss, how was the Fibonacci sequence discovered? Growing up in North Africa, Leonardo Pisano Bigallo, the Italian mathematician, 
was taught the Hindu Arabic mathematical system and was given a problem about rabbits to solve. When coming up with a solution to this problem, he discovered a general pattern of numbers that allowed him to solve this problem. This pattern of numbers is now known as the Fibonacci sequence. What do we use the Fibonacci sequence for? Many people refer to this pattern when trying to predict the prices of the stock market. People use the trend of the increase in the numbers in the Fibonacci sequence to predict how far up or down the stock prices will go. The second activity is a money survival game. Imagine the governor of the island you live on says that there will be a tsunami coming and everyone has 30 minutes to prepare for it. In the following activity, each of you will have a budget of $100. You will make a trip to two stores, a supermarket and a warehouse. You must use the money you have to buy products that you think you will need to get through the tsunami. Remember to purchase wisely. Buy what you think you will need, but don't buy things that are not necessary, or don't buy too much. At the end of the game, you will be scored based on how useful your items are and how much money you have left over. As you purchase these items, you must subtract the cost from your current budget inventory. Let's continue with the instructions and happy shopping! For this activity, you will need paper, pencils, and three printed handouts. You will each get a blank piece of paper. In this game, you will all have a budget of $100. Split your paper into a T-chart. Write $100 at the header of the left column and write purchases at the header of the right column. You will now have 15 to 20 minutes to buy what you need from each store. As you make purchases, you should write down the item and how many of the item there are as well as the cost under the purchases header. Here, if I buy five bucket hats, then I would write five dash bucket hats dash $5.49 each. When you are finished with your first round of purchases, return to your seats to calculate the total cost. Do this by first adding up the total cost of each item and then subtracting that amount from the given budget, $100. Check your work. If you still have money left over, Go around the room again for a second round of purchases. If you want to keep the remainder of your money and do not wish to purchase more items, that's okay too. Remember, your final score will be based on two factors, how useful your purchases are in the tsunami simulation and how much money you have spent or how much money you have remaining. When all of you are finished purchasing and calculating the total cost and how much money you have remaining, Use the scoring guide to add up your total number of points. The person with the most points is the winner. Discuss. What are some tips on how to save money? In our society, money is pretty valuable. Three ways you can save up money are 1. Keep track of how much money you have and what you spend most on by writing it down. Don't spend more than what you have. 2. Put some money into a piggy bank with no hole at the bottom. You won't be able to access this money unless you break the piggy bank. 3. Only buy what you need and not what you want. What are some ways I can earn money? There are many ways to earn money. For example, your parents have jobs that pay for the food you eat and the place you live. These types of jobs vary from being a school teacher to running a billion dollar tech company. While you are still too young to work in the real world, you can help out around the house and do some chores to help out your parents and to gain work, work experience. Sometimes your parents may give some money for you being kind and helpful. What did you learn today? What do you still have questions about? Today you learned about the Fibonacci sequence as well as money and how to use it and how to budget it. I hope you had fun today. I had a lot of fun teaching you about math. I'll see you next week. Take care.